Let's build a PDF form that will work with PDF for SharePoint. First, log in to your SharePoint instance. I will go over to Sites, and I will go to my team site. The team site is the site where I had installed my PDF for SharePoint app. So in order to find it, I'll come over here to Site Contents, which shows me pretty much everything in the site. And on the page, we have PDF for SharePoint. So I will click on that app. Our first step is to edit available PDF templates. If you do not see this link over here, it's because you do not have Manage Web Permissions available. So you'll have to get that turned on if you don't see this link here. Now to add in a new PDF template, I'll click on Edit Available PDF Templates. And then the next thing we need to do is add in a new item. So what we're adding in is a new PDF template. A PDF template is a link to a PDF form that you would like your list data to merge into. So for example, let's say you have first name, last name, etc. in a list, and you want to merge that into a PDF form, what we need to do is set up this PDF template so that we have a PDF to merge that data into. So I'll go up here where it says title, and I'm just going to call this test PDF template, okay? Now, normally, we would be adding in the ID number that represented a specific PDF form in your PDF for sp.com account. But at this stage of the game, what we want to do is we want to see what fields are available inside of a list so that we know how to name the fields in our PDF form. That being the case, I'm going to just put in all capital letters the word test into this field as a reference for my PDF template. And I'm going to click Save. And now you can see that we have one PDF template, and it's called Test PDF Template. The test PDF template can be used with any list inside of your SharePoint instance. So let me jump over and find myself a list so I can show you what this does. So I'm going to come over here to Lists, and I'll go to Acrobat Event. And here's how you use the tool. I'm on a specific record inside of a list. I'm going to click on the ellipsis dot 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 button, go to Advanced, and I'm going to select Prefill a PDF. Now, normally I'd be clicking on the template which that would prefill the PDF. But at this stage of the game, we haven't built our PDF form yet, and I want to find out what fields are available from my list that I can use inside the PDF. So I'm going to click on my test. And what it just did was it found all of the names of all of the available fields in that specific list I was in. You can see the names here and I can see all of the output values. When we build our PDF form, we'll want to use these exact field names inside of our PDF form. So if the field name inside of the list is first name, all lowercase, then I can put that field name into my PDF form, and when the data gets merged, Jim would be merging into that field. When adding fields to a PDF inside of Adobe Acrobat, each field 
needs to have a name. What I've done is I've made the names of my fields in my PDF exactly the same as the column names that are inside my SharePoint list. Because these field names match up, when I use the PDF for SharePoint tool, these fields will pre-populate these fields exactly. One note to make is that if you have fields in your PDF form that don't exist in the columns in your SharePoint list, no data will be merged into them. In the next video, we'll teach you how to take this PDF template and upload it into pdf4sp.com so that we can then link that template back into the app so you can make the merge happen.